What is up, everyone? Welcome back to the Crypto Blitz, your home for your crypto fix. I'm your host, Ripple Van Winkle. If you didn't listen to the first video of the day, you need to go give it a listen because we've tied in Fed now plus instant payments, and that's opening the door to instant settlement. Plus, we talked the Ethereum virtual machine that's on DevNet and what that's going to mean for ERC-20 tokens to be bridged using the XRP ledger. It was straight fire. You need to give it a listen. Now, listen. In this video, we're going to talk about Elon Musk. Is, is he competing with XRP? XLM, $2.24. Where is it going? Bitcoin custody, another... Bitcoin custodian has gone bankrupt. You need to hear this. You need to be safe out there, especially if you're using the likes of possibly an I trust capital. How about crypto backed mortgages, Eastgate? And then we get the massive statement from Arthur Brito to top this video off. Without further ado, let's get over to Live Coin Watch. What are we seeing out there? Not too much has changed from this morning, to be honest with you. Bitcoin Dom's gone up a tad, up to 49.8%. Total cryptocurrency market cap coming in at $1.84 billion as the Bitcoin price is down about a half a percent, 30385 Ethereum, 1865 It's down 0.65% the past 24 hours. USDT has gone back to its dollar peg as USDC remains at $0.99. Cents. XRP. Trying to regain 49 and a half cents, folks, coming in at 47 cents. It's currently down 0.46%, but it's shown a little life on the hourly hour chart. Now, the month ends coming to an end. Told you about this. I'm going to tell you about it again because I want to see as many new people get over to the Discord. I want to see as many new people get into this project because a lot of people got bad taste in their mouths from uh, NFTs. My project, yes, my project, I'm the owner of this project, we give you XRP back. Payments from last month to this month have gone up, which is unbelievable, unremarkable, has never been seen or done in history before, but you got that right. We take care of the community over here. And we're giving you free metaverse items. Links are below. Make sure you check it out. Mason put this out. Let's give him a little retweet action. Elon Musk, will he compete with XRP with X.com? He's saying X will be 50% of the world's financial system. Let's listen to this clip. Tell me, tell me like the story. Years. Yeah, <laughs> tell me, tell me the story about X, X.com. Well, I mean, way back in the day, the idea was for uh, X or X.com to be um, an all-encompassing um, financial services company um, or, or I thought kind of in like a um, infinite information theory way to be, a, to be the most efficient uh, database for the information that is money. Um, the way that money currently works is, from a practical standpoint, it's um, still mostly run on mainframes. You know, that's, that's still a thing for, for banks. It's mostly written in COBOL. It's still mostly uh, batch processing. Uh, so actually, the financial system is very slow. Um, it's not secure. You've got all these heterogeneous, uh, complex databases. Um, so if you have a real-time um, homogenous database uh, that is just like fundamentally more, more more efficient and doesn't um, have all the expenses of uh, bank buildings all over the place and bank branches and, and ATMs, which are increasingly kind of redundant. Um, it can operate way more efficiently. And so um, it, it, essentially, if, if, if done right, the X would be, w w would serve people's financial needs to such a degree that over time it would become, I don't know, maybe half of the global financial system. Wow. Or some big number. Okay. Um, I'm not sure what the number is, but pretty big. Um, so it, it would be by far the biggest sort of financial institution. If, but, but like I said, not, not... What is Elon talking about? What is he getting involved in? For sure, he can't be starting this from scratch, folks. X.com, XRP, moving money on Twitter with digital assets. Something's cooking, something's brewing. I like where he's going with this. XLM, $2.24. He got crypto to put his chart out. He goes, get ready for the XLM revolution by July of 2024, a year away. Just exactly where I have been calling the blow off top for crypto. Just like cycle two where it took XLM 1,187 days to reach its peak, history could repeat itself. If XLM follows the same pattern of cycle one, we could witness a staggering $58,000 surge driving XLM to $37. I put 24, my apologies, it's 37. However, cycle two seems to be more plausible. 
we could be looking at an XR, XLM around two bucks. Folks, two bucks, 24 bucks. Either way, it's a win-win for all XLM, XLM holders because XLM is 10 freaking cents. Pay attention to what's going on out there. Bitcoin custody company, another one collapses. Listen up. I gotta tell you, the longer that I'm in the crypto market, uh, things just never seem to surprise me. And today we're gonna talk about yet another custody custodian company that is insolvent, allegedly. And when I talk about this, you have to just remind yourself that they really just had one job and they couldn't even get that right. And the question really then becomes is what the heck happened? So what I'm talking about. Right here, and I don't need to play the whole clip for you. Prime Trust, Prime Trust folks has gone under. Crypto custody platform gone goodbye. Bitco was going to buy them out. Bitcoin, Bitco looked into their back end books. They have no money. Be careful out there with these companies that are holding your freaking crypto. That's all I'm saying. I'm not telling you that I trust or any of these other ones are in trouble. I have no clue what their order books look like or their back end money treasury looks like, what they hold, what they can back. I don't know. But it's scary to see when you see Prime Trust, someone that a lot of people trusted in, has gone under. A crypto mortgage lets you leverage your Bitcoin, Ethereum, or USDC to invest in real estate. Look at this one. Instead of selling your crypto, you can use it as collateral to qualify and secure a mortgage. Apply in minutes, minutes and close your mortgage in weeks without losing the upside of your crypto assets. This is very interesting. Very interesting. What I would say is that it's too new and we don't know what's going to happen here. I would let this play out for a little bit, see how it goes before you jump in because you don't want to be stuck with your pants down. Ethgate, it's a real thing. Did your last an investor wants to remind you? Hey, Senator Warren and friends feeding witnesses information on the questions that would be asked ahead of time. Huh? Coordinate in any way with uh, either the SEC or House representative staff before your appearance at that hearing? Um, there's, it's, I think it's pretty standard for there to be some communication between um, the entities that invite you and uh, in that capacity. I mean, uh, we were somewhat aware of the topics they would cover, but we didn't really know the exact questions. Okay. There, there were times during your testimony when it looked like you were reading your answers. What mm -hmm. were you reading? Uh, basically, I had thought I had prepared good responses and was looking in my notes. Obviously, we had prepared extensively to testify and there was a lot I wanted to make sure to cover. So I wanted to make sure in looking at my answers that I was proper and thorough in my responses. Okay. And so none of the representatives previewed any of their questions for you? Again, uh, we were aware of the topics they covered, but we did not. You heard him just a minute? They gave him the questions ahead of time, so we knew exactly how to answer them. They just fed him the information, just like Billy Boy Hinman was fed the information for the Vitalik a week before he went on stage and declared the Hinman test and gave Ethereum a free pass, folks. Holy crap. This gets bigger and bigger each and every single day. And Lori Shin's just sitting up there acting like nothing's wrong, that this is normal. This isn't normal. This is not normal. They don't feed you the questions when you go into a court and you're sitting up there in that little box next to the judge and the attorneys come up and they start grilling you. They don't tell you the questions in advance. You go to a job interview. They don't tell you the questions in advance. What is really going on here? But we're going to get into this because we got some massive news from the mask man himself, Arthur Brito. This all ties in the Fed now. This all ties into instant payments. This all ties into instant settlements. Off the brittle said back in June of 2017, the XRP ledger needs to be able to scale and serve 7.5 billion people and even more devices. Now, how did Arthur know that back in 2017 that the ledger needed to be able to scale for 7.5 billion people? How did he know? It sounds to me like these people were put in place for Ripple to create a system using decentralized, using digital ledger technology, integrating a fast and secure asset that improved Bitcoin. To scale and serve 7.5 billion people and even more devices is what exactly XRP was created for. 
Think about this for a second. They knew in advance that's what they were building out. They knew the new financial system was getting moved over. They knew it was getting switched over. They found the way and the ins and the outs of how to do it and the ways about going about doing it. You are currently seeing the old financial plumbing, the old financial rails get swapped over and get changed out. Ripple is playing a huge role in this. Ripple is getting all the central banks around the world. They are looking at all the money with back-end treasury management. We are currently seeing the USD in pilot stages and test phases with the island nations of Palau that backs the USD by XRP. We are seeing Fed now going live next month with instant payments. We heard from a big bank of Australia in the last video that they were looking for a way to bridge these instant payments into their own currency. When you get instant payments, folks, you still need a way to bridge money coming in from different currencies. But the instant payment is bringing you and is solving that last mile hop, the chicken and egg problem is what it's doing. So you have XRP sitting out there as a neutral bridge, which is gonna be able to bridge the final mile into any currency around the world and, to, and conduct settlements within seconds. That is how this is all shaping up. Remember that. Listen, I'm out. Wash your damn hands. Be nice and be kind to of each other. Ripple Van Winkle is out.